Hello everyone, it's Zach from PoE Stack. Today, in, in collaboration with TFT, we're going to be launching a new feature called TFT One Click. The goal of this feature is to make it easier to bulk sell items and figure out what channels they should be posted in, in the TFT Discord. As a brief introduction to what bulk selling is, is it's the idea that we want to sell entire tabs or at least large quantities of items at once through the forbidden trove Discord channels. Uh, as far as what you can sell, the easiest way to figure out is to just take a look at the Discord in the box selling section and take a look at some of these channels. If you go to, for instance, the Scarab channels, you can see people selling off an entire, scab, entire tab of Scarabs at 80% of the PoE Ninja price. So people get a bit of a discount, but you sell the entire tab in a single purchase. Uh, the goal of the tool is to make this a bit easier by automating some of the pricing of some items and uh, using a bot to post to the channels automatically. To set this up, you're going to want to go to poestack.com forward slash tft forward slash bulk tool. There'll be a link in the description and uh, any of the posts that are associated with this. When you get to this page, if you haven't already connected everything, there'll be a couple of prompts to connect your PoE account and your Discord account so that we can view your stash tabs and confirm that you're in the TFT Discord. Once you make it to this page, the first step is to select a league. Uh, the options are always going to be the current league and standard. Standard doesn't have nearly as many channels, so you will ch should check what you want to sell in standard based on the standard channels. The next step is going to be to select some stash tabs. I'll pick Sanctum for now. Basically, you just want to go through here and pick out any tab that contains items you might want to sell on. I have some remove only tabs from some of the cell phone migration, so I'm going to click this button to filter this out. Uh, for this example, I'll just select some of the common tabs so we can check them out. And then I will also, you can also use this to uh, search. So let me just let's select the compass tabs as well. The next step is to grab your items, so we get an updated look at what we have in here. It can take a second depending on how many tabs you have, but here they all are. Finally, we're going to want to select what we actually want to sell. Let's start out with taking a look quickly at what the options are. So, compasses is all of the compasses. We have heist, logbook, essences, um, some of the standard scarab fragment stuff, but we also now have things like beasts, unidentified watcher's eye, and blood vessels. So. Just take a look, see what you want to sell, select your option, I'll pick compasses for now, and you'll see that we can uh, take a look. It's filtered the list down just to the compasses, so this was what will be listed. Um, all these things are linked up, so if you want to check out what something is, you can go to the wiki for it. If you want to look at the prices, you can click here and view the price graphs. And then, um, oops, I have to reselect compasses, there we go. And then if you just want to quickly get a breakdown, you can just expand it here. The final option on the table is the asking price. So it uses the values that I've just shown to determine an initial price, but if you want to manually change it, you can enter your options over here, which will adjust the listing. So to sell compasses, we need an IGN. So I will put in my, uh, my sanctum name. We're also going to need to adjust the slider if we want to. So currently it's at 100% multiplier. We can see that for scarabs, people are usually selling them, let's see, 80, here's 100, here's 75. So you just take a look in here and see kind of what the average multiplier is at. It looks like for scarabs, it's there, but compasses, it's usually actually a little bit above listing price. I'm going to put it significantly above because I'm not really going to sell these in the first place right now. Um, so the final option, once everything looks right, is to press post to TFT. As you can see, a bot has added me in the compass channel. It's automatically formatted the message correctly, put my IGN and all of the listings, and sent me a mention so I can see it and so other people know who this listing is for. I'm going to delete this message so that no one gets confused because I'm making a video right now. So if we want to sell something that's not compasses immediately after, all we need to do is select the next tab. So if we wanted to sell essences, we would just select those, press post to TFT, and so on, right? Next, we could just pick that maybe we want to also sell our logbooks off. Just keep going through and selecting. We don't need to reselect tabs because we selected them all initially. The other nice thing is that the tool will remember all of this. So if you reload the page, you'll see that my tabs are still selected. And if I select compasses, it still has my IGN typed in. So no need to reconfigure those options. Um, the main goal of this tool is just to make it a bit easier to manage all of these messages and uh, sp speed up the process of making bulk postings. 
The other nice advantage of having the bot is that it guarantees that the messages are the right format and that they are not edited in any way. So the sellers also get a, or the buyers, sorry, get a guarantee that the message prices are what they would expect. Uh, yeah, besides that, I think that's all I have to go over today. I hope that you guys have a good start to your league. And finally, I want to give a big thanks to the TFT team for working th through this with us and getting this utility out for you guys at the start of the league. Thank you for your time. I will talk to you guys later.